Hey everybody, this is Django Fett, the Angry Vet, in another video live from the Chitsa Poland. I'm straight out of the gym, got my iron pumped out, I got a little bit of high, so I guess I shave or something like that, I don't fucking know. Um, no, I think it's the pre-workout that I took, it is fucking liquid cocaine, that's what they should call it. Um, so, <sighs> pumping iron, uh... You know, training, my progress is good. Now, I knew I'm a little aggravated because I've been losing weight steadily till now. I hit my plateau, which is at 99 kilo. And now I'm oscillating between 99 to 101, 102. And it's aggravating the fuck out of me. Given I'm still losing weight size, so I guess that's a good thing. And I kind of knew it was going to happen as soon as I added the weights. I just have, I don't know, I guess gifted genetics in that regard that I gain muscle mass real quick that consider that on the fact but the fact that i'm a horny dog does explain a lot i mean i still work up with a boner every fucking morning even though i masturbate four times a day yeah i ain't got a shame i gotta check the pipes anyway um that being said i hope you all had a great fourth of july i got plastered i got fucked up on the fourth of july i don't remember most of the night people are still complaining about me being too rowdy and and you know, that's, that's one of the things I'm trying, you know, people are like, oh, but you're not, you know, you're retired. You're, you're, you're you know, you're not a base anymore. I'm always going to be a soldier. I don't give a fuck what the fuck people say. I'm always going to be a soldier. I'm a veteran right now and I'm retired, but I'm always going to be a soldier. No matter what. I got forcibly retired. I didn't want to get out, but my back just gave out on me. My back gave out. I was going crazy. And, 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 and. You know, the unit I was at was a piece of shit. I'm going to fucking say this right now. I'm a civilian. And I'm going to post this on Facebook so you guys can share it too. 421st is a bunch of corrupt pieces of shit motherfuckers. All right? You know, now I can say shit I couldn't say before. But the people that follow me here on Facebook and on YouTube and uh, I'm going to post this on Instagram as well. You're going to know. That unit was a piece. It's one of the reasons I say fuck the army. To be honest with you, um, you got people like uh, certain first. You know what? Fuck. I'm gonna say sorry. First class Francois. First name Antoinette. Yes, I said it here. And this is not talking shit. This is saying the facts. She used to harass soldiers. To harass the fuck out of soldiers. Um, I'm talking about anybody. She will pick a bone on you, and she you were fucked. You screw one of my guys away. He was already out of his 45-day probation period, yet you still pull for the chapter. But I don't know whose dick you suck or what not, but you got my sh my soldier chapter the fuck out. You know, because that's what you want. You get hell bent on somebody, she wants to get you out. And she feels so proud of kicking out soldiers instead of rehabilitating. Because that's the problem with the army nowadays. People brag about, oh, I kicked this many soldiers out. What did you do to, rehabil don't get what did you do to rehabilitate that soldier? And don't get me wrong, some soldiers are pieces of shit, all right? But this is a soldier that when he first got to the unit, he was motivated, hard worker, hard charging. And then this unit slowly just drained the fuck out of his spirit. And he just say, fuck it. He just say, great A, fuck it. You know, he had a bad decision. He manned the fuck up to it. He manned the fuck up to it and said, you know what? I believe in seconds. I, I believe in at least one chance, you know, to, to rehabilitate. You know, this fucking thing of crucifying from the get-go. Sometimes some of the best soldiers I had, they became the best soldiers I had right after an Article 15. It's like, what's the wake-up call? And I think everybody in the military should be allowed a fucking Article 15. Even fucking officers. Just one. Just one. Learn your lesson. You know, just hold him from promoting if he's an officer. Uh, you know, if an NCO, well, you know, you get flagged and shit like that. And don't make it a big fucking deal. The the sad part is you got officers. Oh, by the way, I got crucified. I got crucified for being in a relationship uh, while I was still legally married. Now, I get the armies of bullshit. I, I, I wasn't trying to hide the fact that I was, you know, in a relationship, whatever. I was I was going to take the hit. You know, I never hit the fact. I was just trying to kid on my daughter. What they did, they took my command sponsorship. They took my command sponsorship. They're like, look, give me the Article 15. Let me lose rank. I don't give a fuck. Just let me command sponsor my daughter so I can keep her here and stuff like that. And no, what they did, they went right after my family. They went right after my daughter, you know. On top of that, because of that, I became a piece of shit. Uh, I heard the people I care the most about. 
And, you know, it's been a long fucking road, but it's be that unit just literally turns you either into a shit bag, either you don't give a fuck or you want to murder somebody. You know, I hope to God that I'd never run into any, any of the leadership from that unit, because personally, I will probably find out where the fuck you hang out and beat the fuck out of you. That's one of the reasons I'm over here and I'm over there, because I will be tempted to fucking follow you and beat the shit out of you. And not kill you, just leave you crippled for the rest of your fucking life. Because of the mental anguish, you don't only cost me, but other soldiers in the fucking unit. Like It's like some of you so-called army leaders get a hard on fucking with people. And that's the one thing I can... Like, I understand the little hazing in between, like, go get a box of grit squares and shit like that. But fucking with a soldier, like, harassing, like, man, fuck that. Fuck that, all right? That doesn't build this. That just pisses people off. And next thing you know, they're stabbing you in the fucking eye or something. Like, I know I came close by. I mean, I got into fucking homicidal watch for a couple of times because I'm like, look, I need to fucking stay here. Give me some pills or something like that. I'm about to stab a motherfucker, run the motherfucker over. Because I was tempted. Like, do you know what it's like watching them across the city? Like, man, all I got to do is just wrap this fucking Mustang up and just run the fuck out of it. And then just back and forth a couple of times. People are going to be doing nothing because the army is a bunch of pussies right now. You know, Melly, you know when I knew it was time to go? When people were like, ah, oh, Sarnas Mills, I'm about to write you. Then write me the fuck up. That's all you're going to fucking do. That's all you're going to fucking do. 4856. Because maybe, maybe 20% of you fuckers, maybe 20, 15%, even less, have the fucking balls to even fucking swing at me. And the ones that do, they don't talk as much shit about you. They actually sit down with me. Okay, what the fuck is wrong? Let's go on. There were all NCOs that I would think twice before squaring up with them, but they were the good NCOs. They were the ones that actually, first, they find out what the fuck are you acting that way because you're normally not like that, and they'll try to crucify you and stuff like that. Then you got the pencil fucking whippers, the ones that fucking fake their profile because you know their ass. That, somehow he ran a fucking 12, but he was behind me, and I ran a 14. Get the fuck out of here. I saw that shit so many times, and I just want to fucking stab you. You know, the army is going to shit. It is a representation of the fucking Congress. Let's just say that way. Fuck the little people. And, you know, honestly, officers should be made to be enlisted first. So maybe have the fucking stupid shit we've been put onto. They might think it twice. They might think it twice. Because fucking with people, it is not fucking cool. This applies also in the real world. Don't fuck with people. All right? I was in a situation where karma offered me the opportunity to say, fuck it. And I stopped because I'm a very, I'm a very vindictive motherfucker. I'm a very vindictive motherfucker. I only give you what you give me. If you're a piece of shit, I'm a fucking sling shit right back at you. Like the monkey, you know, and you know, karma is very important for me. I mean, the thing is, if I dish it out, I'm willing to take it out, you know, take it in also, you know, if, I, if I'm fucking going to throw a fucking stone out, like I'm expecting you to throw it back. Uh, because I don't believe in that bullshit. I believe in, the, in equivalent exchange, just like Full Metal Alchemist. If those of you who watch anime, you know, alchemy has, you know, uh, there's always an equivalent exchange of things. So if you're willing to dish out the pain, you got to be willing to receive it. And I have dirt on people, on, 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 on that unit. I mean, I had a major that was fucking around. I'm not going to mention names. Um, I had the emails to... You know, they try to crucify the other officer because she was lower enlisted and he was a part of the good old buddy club. You know, it's a shit like that. Like, man, how can you go to sleep at night being that piece of shit? You know what I'm saying? And 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 there's no honor. Like the institution is getting so fucked up. But now, I mean, let's let's be honest. I, I'm always proud of my brothers and sisters, and that's something that's not gonna change. I think the army is a wonderful institution. Uh, especially if you're a kid straight out of high school that don't know what the fuck to do. Believe me, if by you say, oh, fuck college, join the army and you'll appreciate Like, you know what? Maybe I should go to college. I mean, I mean, the process, earn the GI Bill, you know, earn the GI Bill and, and use it to get That's what I'm doing right now. I mean, even after old age, I was afraid of being in college. Now I'm doing great. Maybe because I'm smarter, more mature. And, you know, now I got to, I got to do good for my daughter, you know? And, and, and if, if you're that way, if uh, honestly to God, if you're, if you were my son or my kid and you don't know what the fuck to do after high school, join the army. 
Just give it a give it a four years, the minimum to get your you know Montgomery J bill or your, your post 9/11, and give it a go. Give it a go. If you can, and you're blessing the unit doesn't fuck with you as much because you're a dependable motherfucker, which is the other thing. You know, you got people that want to study, but because they're dependable, they always fucking put them in details and details and details and details. And like, who the fuck wants to study after that? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, my free time. Like, nah, fuck that. I'm sorry. I work. I work to live. I don't live to work. I will always live by that. I do not believe in putting 80, 70 hours. Oh, I, 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 it, sh it shouldn't be. The average human being. All right. If your work is fulfilling, by all means, please do. I don't have, I don't mind spending that much time. But if you got family, spending that much time away from them, I mean, fuck that. Fuck that. Fun gotta happen. I'm sorry. I, I know some of you bunch of workaholics and stuff like that. But if you're in your fucking third marriage, maybe you should stop working so much and fuck your wife more. You know, stuff like that. I don't fucking. I'm just, you know information and stuff like that and i got somebody looking at me like i'm fucking crazy because i'm talking in the fucking uh radio and shit like that oh. anyway people um that's my gripe for the day don't be a shit bag whether it's civilian or military if you're a leader be a fucking leader do as you say and do as you do you know what i'm saying don't do you know don't do as i say just as i you know, not as i do because that is bullshit live by example and take care of your soldiers and uh, I'll see you guys next video. Uh, be blessed in any whatever the fuck you believe in. Uh, Buddha, Goku. Uh, there's only two genders. I don't give a fuck. There's only two fucking genders. That is male, female. Um, and uh, that's it. All, uh, everything else is a fucking mental fucking sickness. And then I will touch that subject in another rant. You guys be, be care and I love you guys.